This begs the question uh, whether the U.S.-Russia relationship and whether President Obama and President Putin can figure out some way to reach an agreement here. Joining me now, CNN senior political analyst and former presidential advisor David Gergen. Uh, David, I just want to start with the pictures. You know, that you've been through this. You've advised four U.S. presidents. And, uh, you know, pr the White House always says when the meeting doesn't go well, you know, don't pay attention to the body language. Look at these pictures. Uh, Putin's leaning away. He's got the the stone face, I remember it well from covering him back in the George W. Bush administration. He had a much more friendly relationship, though, with George W. Bush. You can see this here. You can see it in the president's face. You could hear it in the tone of his words. This is not a working relationship at the moment, is it? It is not a working relationship, and it's been an enormous source of frustration for the administration. As you know, the Obama team came in promising to hit the reset button with Russia, and in the beginning it seemed to be working. President Obama had an excellent relationship with Medvedev, the previous uh, Russian president. Two of them saw themselves as rising members of a, of a young generation that was going to transform the world, uh, and they made some progress on some issues. But now with Putin in, we have this authoritarian that, that many in Washington regard as a real thug. Obama clearly doesn't like him. Putin has no real love for, for Obama. But more importantly, John, it's not just the body language. It's not just the, the uh, personal animosity. It is the fact that the Russians are blocking uh, any real effort or any uh, success in getting Assad out of office. This is a, Syria is a foothold for the Russians in diplomacy in the Middle East, as you know so well. And uh, if, as long as they continue to reinforce Assad, it just makes it very difficult. We want Assad out of there in part because it would be a real blow to Iran. But this, as you pointed out too, John, this is starting to flare up in American politics.